On the 10th of May, 1940, within hours of Winston Churchill's ascension to the premiership, the Germans began their long-awaited move into Belgium and the Netherlands. One of their points of entry was the Albert Canal near Maastricht. Two bridges there saw large numbers of troops and vehicles crossing them in the early days of the campaign. The British advanced air striking force was very poorly prepared for all this, having ten squadrons of old and obsolete battle bombers. One of those, 12 Squadron, based at Amifontaine, was detailed to attack these two bridges. All pilots volunteered for the mission, but only five aircraft were used. They were split into two formations. One, led by Flying Officer Norman Thomas, attacked a concrete bridge at Vrenoven, while the other, led by Flying Officer Donald Garland, went for a metal bridge at Veldvetzelt. Hurricanes of one squadron arrived over the targets first to protect the bombers, downing a number of German fighters, but unable to keep all of them at bay, not to mention the heavy ground fire that also awaited the battles. Flying Officer Thomas chose to lead his formation in a dive bombing attack, but he was unsuccessful in destroying that bridge. He crash landed and was captured, but the second bomber, flown by Pilot Officer Davy, managed to make it home. Flying Officer Garland, with Sergeant Thomas Gray as his navigator and LAC Lawrence Reynolds as his rear gunner, chose to make a low-level bombing run, which was quite dangerous given the German defenses there. None of the three battles led by Flying Officer Garland returned from the raid, so what happened isn't entirely clear, but the Veldvedsel Bridge was destroyed. The attack success was confirmed sometime later. Unfortunately, the loss of four bombers didn't achieve very much. Although one of the bridges was destroyed, the Germans quickly constructed a pontoon bridge right next to it and allowed this point of the invasion to continue with barely a hiccup. VCs were posthumously bestowed on both Flying Officer Garland, the lead pilot of the raid, and his navigator, Sergeant Gray. Normally, it's just the leader of such an attack who's recognized with a VC. But in this case, both men got it, the only instance of this happening during the war. But the generosity in this case didn't extend to LAC Reynolds, who was the gunner of the lead aircraft. Flying Officer Garland was not quite 22 and nicknamed Judy, rather obvious name there, by some of the other pilots, was one of four brothers to serve in the RAF, but unfortunately none of them would survive the war. Sergeant Gray was only five days short of his 25th birthday. He'd been in the RAF for almost 11 years, originally as a fitter before transitioning to air crew. With the German campaign in the West now underway, the uh, rate of new VCs is going to uh, pick up a little bit. There'll be quite a few more in the month of May and June. So hope uh, all of you stay tuned for those to come.